Hey, what's happening guys? Hope you all are doing well. This is Tito back with another video and today in this video I am going to show you how to install the AOKP ROM based on Android 8.1 on Redmi Note 3. So without further any more delay, let's make it happen. So first of all, you need to go to this XDH head to download the ROM. All the important links will be listed in the description box below so do not worry. To do this, make sure you have officially unlocked bootloader, official TWRP recovery installed and you are doing it on your own risk. If you do it otherwise, don't complain. And as you can see, I am using Nitrogen OS 20 February build. And over here, the new thing is 8.1 Nitrogen OS now supports OTA updates, as you can see here. So it's amazing. Ok so now let me boot the phone into TWRP recovery. I am using official latest TWRP recovery 3.2.1.0. So now hit wipe. Now advanced wipe. Now select cache, Dalvik cache, system and data. Now swipe to wipe. Once done, go back, go back, hit install, locate the ROM and gapps file. Select them and swipe to confirm flash. Ok, so now as the flashing is done, hit reboot system. Here is the awesome boot animation of AOKP ROM. As we are booted up into the system, let me complete the setup process. Here we have Trebuchet Launcher as default launcher. These are the stock apps this ROM comes preloaded with. Except you see browser and Google wallpaper app. They are there because I am restoring Google app data backup. Here is the trebuchet launcher settings if you are into that. And yes, you can swipe down on the home screen to get to the notification drawer. Here is how the quick settings panel looks like. Yes, you can disable heads up notification from here. But the live display feature is not working at all as of this build. Now let's jump into the about section. On the top it says AOKP ROM version. This is the 16th February 2018 build by the way. As you can see the stock kernel over here is Lineage OS kernel. I am yet to test out the battery life of this ROM. I will post it on Twitter later today. So do follow me on Twitter from the description. And the security patch over here is February 5th 2018. Now let's go back. From here we have option to enable double tap the power button to launch camera and we have status bar customizations. In here you can enable quick pull down. Network traffic monitor is there if you want that but I use internet speed meter app so I am gonna disable it. Next we have system icons. From here you can enable stuff like headset icon but I don't see a vaulty icon yet. And here we have the slide a finger on the status bar to control brightness option which works fine as you can see. Now let's go back and see what customizations are inside the ROM control. So firstly we have the details about AOKP website and stuff. Swipe from the left again we have general. In here we have toast icon option. I don't exactly know what it does. In sound, we have the camera shutter, screenshot and safe headset volume warning. I am gonna disable all of them. And what's next? We have the little status bar controls again. So in my opinion, it's not even 1% of ROMs like Resurrection Remix or Nitrogen OS in terms of customizations. So I think it can get better in the future with updates. So now let's jump into the display settings. Here we have double tap to sleep option which is working fine as you can see but I don't see a UI color settings over here. I am a little disappointed considering it doesn't have enough customizations. Even then it doesn't have the UI color adjustment options. 
Let me set up the face unlock now and see if the instant face unlock is working fine or not. And the result is no, instant face unlock is not working here. We have to unlock the screen manually after it detects the face. Now let me reboot the phone and show you guys if the faulty calls are working fine or not. Yes, as you can see, Geo 4G Vault E calls are working fine here. Now, let me open up GC Mod 5 and see if it works fine. Here is an example of HDR Plus Enhanced Mode. And here is an example of Front Camera Portrait Mode. In the Recent Apps panel, there is no Clear All button on the bottom. To clear all the apps, you have to all the way go to the top right corner. And you can lock individual apps if you want to, to keep in memory. Here are the benchmarks of this ROM if you are into that. Let me test out the RAM management of this ROM now. And in the meantime, let's talk what's working and what not here. Well, Wi-Fi, Vaulty, Data, Calling, Torch, Camera, Specific Image Scanner, Hotspot, Double Tap to Sleep, everything is working fine here. And as you can see from here, all the apps were in memory so no issues with RAM management and some things that I don't like here is the volume buttons are always controlling media volume and there are some frame drops all over the UI from time to time and the phone feels a little hot to the touch on the back side of the phone even with medium usage I don't know if it's because of the weather or not on CPU Z, the battery temperature was like around 40 to 41 degrees Celsius. So that's how it is. So that wraps up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the big thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel right here if you love my work. This is Ben Tito. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye now.